many wives did the Prophet marry altogether? This is something disputed by historians. They give multiple figures. Some say 19, some say 17, some say 15, some say 13, some say 9. We have a hadith which the book of Al Khisal by Al Shaykh Al Saduq narrates, a hadith from Imam Al Sadiq in which the Imam salam says, Tazawwaj Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, the khams ashrata imra'a. The Prophet married 15 women. So the figure that we have from the Ahlul Bayt, according to this hadith, is 15. The marriage was consummated with 13 of them. So two of them, there was a marriage contract, but they never lived together. We'll see later why, what happened, why did the marriage not continue, and they separated. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa says, when uh, the Imam alayhi says, when the Prophet passed away, there were nine wives who outlived him, and basically they survived after him. So in total, he married 15. Two of them, the marriage was not even consummated. 13 of them, the Prophet actually lived with. And out of them, nine are those who lived after him. So nine out of the 13 survived the Prophet For instance, Khadija, she passed away during the life of the Prophet. And there are there is one more, we'll talk about her. So, We have this hadith from the Imam السلام, that tells us the figure of those wives. Now, as for the sequence of these wives, the Imam also mentions it. And this is an area where we slightly disagree with the Sunni understanding of that sequence. So, Al Imam al Sadiq السلام, says, as for those that the Prophet actually lived with and the marriage was consummated, awwaluhunna Khadija bint Khuwailid. The first was Khadija. The second is Sauda. Up till this point, we're in agreement with most Sunnis, even though some Sunnis even claim that Aisha came before Sauda. The marriage contract with Aisha when she was six, as they claim, was done before the Prophet actually married Sauda. But a lot of Sunni historians dispute that. And they say, no, first Khadija, then Sauda. So, so far, we're in agreement. Who's the third one? Sunni say Aisha, clearly. Right? But an Imam al Sadiq in this hadith, he says, Um Salam. وَإِسْمُهَا هِنْدْ بِنْتُ أَبِي أُمَيَّةِ The Imam even mentions her name. Her name was Hind, the daughter of Abu Umayyah. So according to the hadith of Imam al-Sadiq the third wife of the Prophet was not Aisha. It was actually Um Salam. So how do we address this discrepancy between the hadiths and the schools of thought? One effort by some scholars to resolve that is to say that the Prophet may be, according to some sources, he had the aqid, or they call it the nikah, or the katb iktab, or the marriage contract with Aisha in Mecca. But when did he live with her? In Medina. That came after Um Salama. So if you look at the aqid, the marriage contract with uh, Aisha, it came before Um Salama. But if you consider when the Prophet married and the marriage was consummated, Um Salama is number three, and Aisha comes after her. So this, is, so this is one way of addressing this discrepancy. Yes. So then in that case, historically, we would place Sauda's marriage even in Mecca? So yes, um, a lot of sources seem to indicate that the Prophet married Sauda in Mecca. Yes, and she migrated with him to Medina. She wasn't from Medina? No, 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 she was from Mecca. Yes, Sauda was from Mecca, no doubt about that. All of the wives from Mecca, no, later on we'll see some wives from Medina. And Maria yeah, we'll see a, a number of them being from uh, Medina, but so far these are from Mecca. So according to the hadith of the Imam al-Sadiq he says the Prophet moved with these wives, he lived with them, the marriage was consummated. First is Khadija, second is Sauda, the third is Um Salama, the fourth is Aisha, that Imam salam mentions. Then he mentions Hafsa, number five. Then Zainab bint Khuzayma, Umm al-Masakin, we'll talk about her. And then later on we'll examine the other wives. 